Hey folks, it's your boy Droid here with a brand new video. Um, playing on PS4 right now, trying to you know record audio and do this you know the stream audio thing, you know. Um, but basically, as you most of you all know, they released a new update for NBA 2K Playgrounds. After several months, I think what the last update was in May sometime, or June, something like that. Um, so basically, we're gonna talk about it, you know, thoughts on the update. Um, but you know, the grade I give this update, a lot of people say this is a really good update. I give this update C plus, B minus, tops. This update is a much needed update to the game. You add in, you know, updated versions of players like Kemba you got in the game now. Uh, they added. A new version of D'Angelo Russell, and it, before I even continue further, I got I got a real gripe with this game, real quick. When they always be saying that they added 22 new players or X amount of new players, it's not true. They adding they added five brand new players to the game, but most of the players they added to this are reskins. Like this, this right here, Anthony Davis, it's probably the this is probably the best card added in this update right here. Anthony Davis stacked with a, he's gonna end up having 90 something dunk, 90 something two pointers, very high blocks. Like this is like, this is a pretty accurate Anthony Davis card I would say. Um, they also added to this team, the Lakers, they added a new version of Marcus Cousins, but of course, you know, the Marcus Cousins in this game is trash. No disrespect to him, I like using him, but, um, be struggling. They added D Wade into this game, it looks like, as a legend again. So he was originally an epic card, but they boosted him up to legend status here. Uh, so let's take a look here. Um, I think this, yeah, I was reading. I think the Dizzy Mike said it, his stats are glitched a little bit, but um, this guy right here, and, you know, D Wade, is one of the big uh, requests to make him a uh, legend status as opposed to the epic. And then you got Jimmy Butler in here. They added to the back, you know, as a Miami Heat. Uh, so he's gonna be a pretty good card, I think 90 something, 91 uh, two pointers when he's maxed out at some point. They also added Carmelo Anthony to the Knicks as legend status. Um, very good card here. Yeah, of course, you know, defense isn't gonna be great, but the offensive capabilities of this card right here. The dunk was uh, a little high, but they added. Andre Ayton got it out here looking like an old 40 year old black man. <laughs> but he's added to the game. He's alright. Uh, I think they added a new version of Harrison Barnes. So I'm not even going to go over that guy. Uh, Marcus Saul is in here on the Raptors now. 76ers Tobias Harris. CP3 is on here. On the um, Oklahoma City Thunder. 90 steals. Pretty solid right there. Uh, New Orleans, okay, so this is one of the players, you know, Zion actually next to know. He's out here with an 81 dunk, 79 blocks, 75 rebounds, no red stats. Uh, I, he's going to be one of the people I actually use, I think, pretty uh, common because good block dunk combination, solid threes. This is my kind of player I would use as like my. You know, like a, a wing player. If I got a big and a wing, I'll probably use this guy a lot. They had a drama ramp to the game. Uh, one of the two rookies, only only two rookies of this season were added. So uh, drama ramp stats are garbage, but of course, if you're a good player, you're gonna be able to do good work with him. But yeah, they they messed up his stats pretty bad. Now here's the thing, my issue with the update right here. Alright, so they added Paul George and Kawhi Leonard as legend status players on the Clippers, right? If you look at these stats real quick, 
You can already tell me what something's wrong right here. Why is Paul George better than Kawhi Leonard? I don't, I don't understand. Like it's, it's like it's glaringly like basically the reason why Kawhi Leonard's trash is because they gave him forty something block and but it's like I don't understand why his his card is so trash and the, the dunk is. I mean he has he's a good athletic player but like. The original game had it best. In the original game, I think he had nine threes, nine twos, nine steals. Like, why does this dude have like he's like okay threes, good twos? I mean, this dude gave me 96. Like his steals is trash. Like it's worse than his regular card. I don't understand. Like Paul George, okay, Paul George card for what Paul George is capable of. I think this is an accurate Paul George card, but it shouldn't be. Like, if you swapped these stats, I would say it's probably more accurate. Um, and then Houston Rockets, they added Russell Westbrook. Um, you know, of course, because he was traded there. He's going to have 90 rebounds. Uh, crazy. And really high stamina, too. He's probably going to be a player I would try to use myself. Um, they added... Luka Doncic, Donc, no, 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 no. y'all know who he is, um, but he's in the game, he's a solid player in this game right here, uh, that they added, you know, he's going to have good stats, no red stats when he's maxed out, and they added Porzingis uh, to this roster as well, he's going to have 90 blocks on the Mavericks version, uh, that's pretty, that's pretty good card right here, you know, he's going to have 83 use, 90 blocks when he's maxed out. Um, they added Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant's car right here. Very good card. I mean, the threes is not great, but two point is going to be a 98 when he's maxed out. So that you can't even you can't even hate on that. And then of course Kyrie Irving. Come on, man. He didn't show up in the postseason last year, but he's gonna have he's gonna be a pretty good card for the Nets version. And the last player we're gonna look at Trey Young. He out here with he's this probably he's probably the best of the brand new players, like truly brand new players, arguably, um, or at least like you know like the rookie and sophomore players that added. He's gonna have 91 threes. And you're gonna have 80, 80 steals. I guess pretty good card. He's a small player, so you're gonna be pretty good at getting those steals and quick threes. I, I think it's a pretty, pretty good card that they added right here. Um, that's in terms of players. Uh, but my other thoughts on this game is just you know like this update. I mean it's a good update. You got a lot of new vanity items. They added the, the classic courts finally. But this update is like. To me, it it could have been more, and I'm I'm always critical of these updates. I don't just say, "Oh, this update is going to be because you know, update's really good" or something like that. I usually try to give an honest opinion of the update. But this update that they made here, like, it's not the best update they could have made. They could have made a much better update, in my opinion. Could have added more players. They could have did a lot of things. Um, I want to do a quick test here. This is Iron Eagle. You know, My guest today sure. is a guy whose name means money and rudeness. You know, before I say Cash something, the thing that they really need to do was to fix the shot clock thing. So let's see if the shot clock trick works. Still game works. So time, time. Dip off, dip off. yeah, update is great. You know, it's a it's a good update in terms of content, but it's not a great overall update because you didn't fix the underlying issues of the game. Like let's let's see, we just elbows still broken. He says, Give still me some do the here. cheating off the backboard. Like the core issues of the game oh, the have not been addressed. The zero. Like they added a bunch of they added you know that they did roster a little bit. Had a sophomore Slip people wanted. Right well a great thing is we need to add to the game. But the core gameplay elements like you know, elbows. See the three. The shot the clock three. cheese is still in the game, so 
you know, I'm gonna have a stream tomorrow, hopefully. Get out of the way. I'm gonna, you know, go into depth of this update, see what you guys' thoughts are on it. But my opinion, this is a C plus B minus update right here. Judging if the content isn't even that great in terms of you know the time we're waiting for this update, like they could have been more stuff, but um you know, that's, that's this defender. video right here. You know, we can discuss it more tomorrow. But those are my quick thoughts. You know, this looking up there right now. I think this is a uh, solid update. Great necessary content. You know, there's more more hours of fun to be played. Um, but some of the key issues with this game, you gotta address. And I also gotta look at the uh, crossplay too today. I crossplayed a PS4. I don't believe so, based on the patch notes. Um, but anyway, that's the studio. Leave a this like, you guys subscribe, you know, all y'all be watching, don't subscribe, and put a comment. Thank you.